Today I'll show you how to make a simple Wi-Fi based motion sensor that'll send you an alert anywhere in the world via email or an SMS text message. This is my favorite little project for under 10 bucks using a Wemos D1 and a PIR motion sensor. You can get this up and going. Anyone can build it. It is super easy. To start out, you're going to need a Wemos D1 mini board. I'll link them down below. You can get them from eBay or Amazon. I already have some here in my bin, so we're all set. You also need a passive infrared sensor. These are easily obtained Amazon down below or eBay. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and ring that bell so you get notified of all the new projects. I put out a new video every week, Fridays 3 p.m. Eastern. To make this easy for you, I've even done a wiring schematic, but there's nothing to it. It's just three wires. We have power, ground, and our signal wire between the Wemos D1 and our passive infrared sensor. There's nothing to it. Don't be afraid of this. It's best to solder these connections, so if warm up whatever soldering iron you have. You can also hook the wires up using uh, female to female extensions. That way will work too. Easiest way is to go ahead and just clip these headers off. Removing them is difficult on these boards and you can damage the board. So just go ahead and snip them off and leave yourself a little stub to solder to. Now using a small piece of wire, I used uh, three conductor header wires. Go ahead and tin your little stubs and attach the three wires to the board in the order according to the schematic. You'll notice the board is labeled. VCC is your five volt, out is your signal and ground is ground. Don't worry if you damage the plastic insulation a little bit, it won't hurt anything. Go ahead and just solder the wires on as best you can, no worries. If you've got a hot glue gun, well that's great to go ahead and insulate these. It also offers a little bit of strain relief on the wires. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you can even just warm up a glue stick and go ahead and dab it on there to hold things in place. Go ahead and solder the other end of your wires right into the Wemos D1 Mini according to the schematic. The ground, the 5 volt, and the signal pin. Easy. If you have a 3D printer, here's where you can easily put together a case. I post the files down below. I even posted my i3 Mega settings so that you can duplicate any 3D print that I do. If you don't have a 3D printer, don't worry. You can easily put together a case yourself using uh, foam board or cardboard or any plastic you have laying around. Anything will work. Once you've got your case printed up or assembled, go ahead and put things into it. It's really easy. You put the PIR sensor in the bottom facing out the hole and then sandwich your little Wemos D1 Mini on top with the USB accessible out the side hole. The top should snap right into place if you use my i3 settings, and there you go. We have an assembled, nice and clean motion sensor alarm we can stuff anywhere in our house. To program the board, you're going to need the sketch. You can find it in my GitHub link down below. Just clone or download the entire package. This is where you can also find the link to the PIR sensor case that someone else has made if you end up needing it. You've got it downloaded, you're going to go ahead and extract it to anywhere you like. I like my desktop. You're also going to need the Arduino IDE to make this work. It's a little beyond the scope of this instruction, so you'll have to Google around if you don't already have the IDE. Go ahead and open up the sketch, and we're going to do a couple of minor modifications. Scrolling down in the sketch, you're going to find this line, the SSID, that is the name of your Wi-Fi network. So go ahead and put your name of the Wi-Fi network in there as it appears from your router. Password, self-explanatory. You've got to put your password in here, and that is it. One more thing, you're going to need to put your API key in here. This is what you're going to get from IFTTT, from if this, then that, in the next step. So once you get that, put that in here. That's all you have to do, and you can go ahead and upload the board. To upload the board, you're also going to have to have support installed for the Wemos D1 Mini. It's a quick Google search away if you don't have it installed already, how to do it through Boards Manager. Again, a little bit beyond the scope of this tutorial. As mentioned, we'll be using ifttt.com for our service to run this project. Go ahead and set up an account. Use your Gmail account because then it works well with the email functionality. In webhooks, this is where you're going to set up your webhooks and get your API key to flash to the Wemos D1. You're going to set up a new recipe. So if you're going to select webhooks, go ahead and fill it in exactly as how I have it on the screen. You can name it whatever you want, but it's so much easier to just fill it in this way.
You can also fill it in to the address of your mobile carrier. Almost every carrier gives you a email to text functionality. So just have an email to that address and you'll receive a text message on your phone as well. After you've got everything all set up and programmed to the Wemos D1 with those three line items filled in for your setup, you can go ahead and plug it in. Now, when the PIR sensor is triggered, as it will be here because I'm standing right behind it, you should get a notification on your phone right away via your email or if you set it up as your text message. I hope you enjoy this project. This is my, my most favorite Wemos D1 project I've ever made. I love it when I go away on holidays. I can put these things all around the house if I want to. Click a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you end up making one of these. I'd love to hear from you guys. Good luck in all your projects.